What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back in here with another triple threat reaction for y'all. And hey, y'all already know we always want to show appreciation to the nerdcore artists out there and such. So shout out to them. So yeah, we got like a kind of like it's like it's going to be like freaky or not freaky. It depends on how it is. But hey, we got Mix Williams with The Hate. And it looks like it's gonna be in a it's gonna be a music video. And hey, it's been a when was the last time you heard me react to some Mix Williams, man? Cause and look in the description it says sometimes you hate that sometimes you hate that you love something. And that's true. A lot of times a lot of people hate Because the fact is that you love something so much you have to you hate the way how it goes because there's always going to be people criticizing you about certain things and such but hey we just you just keep on going but hey man shout out to mix man he's very underrated in the nerdcore scene so we just like to show our appreciation on that so we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's end the video End of the road is looking further and further The clock never stops and hands keep turning and turning Said when I grow up I want to be a famous rapper I keep thinking that shit is never ever gonna happen And I can't find a job, it's no one to blame but myself I got two diplomas, they collect dust on my shelf I got these people on my shoulder telling me they know the way But I've heard it all before, man that shit is so overplayed And, mm. and that's, bro, that be the thing too Like, like you got two diplomas and such, right? You would think, and most people would think like just because you got two diplomas, you automatically just gonna be sky high. Like nigga, it it wouldn't matter if you got two, three, four, five, ten diplomas. At the end of the day, certain jobs, you, you like me. I just got a diploma from high school because I graduated like twenty eighteen, right? So four years ago and yeah i get it it's high school but you would think like it's still be a big job but it and saying if i had graduated from college this year right just saying right and i got my diploma you would think that would give me like good better jobs right nope <laughs> it would give me like a average job job is no one to blame but myself I got two diplomas, they collect dust on my shelf I got these people on my shoulder telling me they know the way But I've heard it all before, man, that shit is so overplayed And my dad always said, life ain't gonna give a fuck if you got a smile And you can go to college or work if school's not your style And I don't know if going to college was even worth it I don't even know if this rabbit shit's even working Guys, mm. I, I swear, a lot. that's like the number one thing most niggas are gonna wanna do, like if the rap shit don't work or so and so, I mean, if like the, if like going to college wasn't working and such, I'm gonna be a rapper. And then when they wanna, and when they wanna start with the rapping, they're gonna feel like, man, this rapping wasn't even worth it. Oh, if going to college was even worth it. I don't even know if this rabbit shit's even working. It's like I'm on a treadmill. I'm moving, but I stand still. Mm. I've been doing the best I can and still don't have a deal. And mm. You've been doing the best you can and you still don't have a deal because trust me like and that's be the thing too like with certain music artists like real talents out there like mix right even in the nerdcore scene and such think about it take like with the nerdcore right you got great talents here like mix like very great underrated talents here like mix williams Breton, him and so on and so forth right and you see the fact that one that even though they've been doing their best work right 
most people still don't get like most people still don't want to say like they're a great artist and such or they're not like legitimate or so like not like legit rap like nigga most of these music they be putting out be charted in some countries like i saw fake like on instagram the other like weeks back and such i saw fable put out a post saying that he made a song that was based upon like i forgot what it was you know i know it was called let it let it burn an Andy Yeager rap right and that sucker charted like five countries charted in like five countries and people think that's not legit and people would think that that's not legit and what the hell I'm on a treadmill, I'm moving but I stand still I've been doing the best I can and still don't have a deal And I've seen my best friends and enemies move on to better things Thank God my head is screwed on, feels like I'm losing everything But I think I finally lost my mind I feel like life is talking shit to me A fake smile on my face, I act like my problems won't ever get to me I think about all the benefits I might not get to reap Because a dark light's been wearing me down Feeling like I'm in a dream, trying to scream but it's not making a sound I try to swallow my pride but it's not making it down These obstacles in my way, swear to God that I can't get around Glass half full, half empty, I never see the difference Because no matter what it is, there's one thing it isn't I ask why the fuck is in my glass full? And why the fuck can I get a job? Yo, I passed school. Bro, that's a good. That's like a good. I would say like meta metaphor. So like the glass is always half full and it's never full and such. Cause you're only like halfway at certain things. But even if you keep on pushing hard and so and so, you're always at half of where you are at life. You want to get to the full good moments of your life and such, but somehow or another, certain situations always going to make you come, always going to make you fall back and you're back to where you started at like half. I thought the talent made a difference, but nope, guess it can't. And bro, and that be the thing too. I be, and literally what I was just talking about. That that you at one point you would think like at one point, right? Everybody said that if you had talents, if you had skills, it would help out with your life. But nope. Some but like you say, nope, guess again. Cause there are, cause let's face the facts. And look, it's gonna be a long reaction. I don't care. Cause especially with Mix Williams, y'all gotta start putting some respect on this man's name. Cause he is super underrated with his type of music. With, cause let's face the facts. T real talented people, like, whether it be like music, sports, or whatever, right? Like think about it, real talented people out here would want to make a, would want to start making differences, right? But somehow, or, but but literally, in today's era now, talent and skill doesn't cut out anymore. Sorry, you literally have to like be born in born in a certain thing or so in order to just be good and to be great like the term hard working in a way it it barely has any meaning anymore the hope is all i need but nope it never is mm. i thought the talent made a difference but nope guess it can't i want to believe my life is heaven sent and god's been playing phone tag i'll eventually get the messages so i live life one day at a time make sure there's truth in every line and it'll work out i'll be fine mm. you gotta struggle to succeed to adversity we rise above it mm. And y'all always wonder why I always say at the end of my videos, stay positive and keep the vibes up. Because you, like you see right here, 
you got to struggle to succeed. Adversity, we rise above it. Because let's face the facts. Everybody in life goes through a struggle. Like, even if you're, when you're, where you're broke, whether you're broke, whether you're mid, like, mid class, hell, even just living good and such, right? One way or another, there's going to be struggles throughout your life. No matter if it's minor or major. No, let me reverse that. Whether it's major or minor, you're going to find a struggle. And it could take one, it, it can take one little struggle or so of yours to make things be hard for you. I swear to God, this game is killing me, but I love it. Mm. And that's a good way to think about it. That even in the game might be killing you, but hey, sometimes, like you hear in that, like you just heard, you gotta struggle to succeed. Cause then and there, you are gonna appreciate everything that was coming your way, every lesson, every hard lesson, whether it was being a good one or a bad one. You are gonna learn from it and keep on moving and moving till you get to the top. Hey, shout out to Mix. Mix, I hope you see this, bro. Keep on working, bro. Cause sooner or later, people need. People are gonna respect. People are gonna know the name Mix Williams. That's for damn sure. Cause let's face it, he for many times in the nerdcore scene, you have always see him popping up. I, cause it's be like out of everybody, right? Who's always been a feature and such. Let's face the facts. I've always seen Mix Williams in there. Cause let's face it, he all cause soon, all I gotta say is with Mix, he always puts in the work. So H. Hey, Shout out to Mix Williams, bro. Keep on working, man, and trust me, you gonna be at the top. Facts. But on to the next one we got now is a Yoko Liner rap, growing lagging style. Great boy. Let's get it. Yo. Hey, hey. This that OG Brian, y'all not ready for this one. Hold up. Mm. Hey, this that classic Brian. This that classic me attacking the beat with the mad demeanor. This ain't passive me, I'm angrily screaming the enemy. And if they tested me, I have to decree that I am the cleanest. Don't test me for any reason. I don't pay any mind, make statements online. I pick up a click and I aim down the side for wasting it. Yeah, you getting that classic Brian. If y'all didn't remember, at one point when Brian starts rapping, it's like he's screaming at you. Like he mad at somebody. Don't test me for any reason. I don't pay any mind. Make statements online. I pick up a click and I aim down the side for wasting the time. I finish so quick to remain on my grind. My gang on the rise. Can't nobody stop us from taking our shine. Cause we are straight for the synthesis. Growing hella green. Got your crew in the areas. Wishing they were me. So we setting the present to pay attention and listen. This ain't no bracket or tear. Let's mean a damn thing to me. Uh, said that I'm the MC like Simone. And I don't really came up from zero. I'll be up longer than Harold. Been waiting for a hero. So homie, what you think you're talking down on me for? I told him if you're gonna just me do we was underground now we finna leave him starstruck hey it's like this with britain and a lot of shout out to loop i feel like britain is like if i had to see the group loop because i know and britain shout out to you for like i said let me saw that list of who was in there I'm just saying, with all due respect to all the members of the group of Loop, of the Loop Collective, I feel like Britain is, like with Britain, he's like, you can see like the legitimate star in that group. And I'm, like I said, everybody else probably are doing their own thing too, and I'm not trying to be it, not trying to be rude or anything, but I'm just saying. If y'all would have picked up y'all styles like how Breton is and such, like try to be more consistent in your music like Breton is, I'm just saying, y'all could get more recognition. Sorry, I was responding to this, but yeah. So, hey, 
The fact is, with Breton, you can say that he's the star. Up from zero, I'll be up longer than Harold been waiting for a hero. They told me what you think you're talking down on me for. Oh. Told them if you want to just me do it properly. We was on the ground, now we're gonna leave it. Start struggling. Yoko, way I oko, with a child, yo ho, let me hold on, take a top. Told them if you want to just me do it proper. We was on the ground, now we're gonna leave them stuck. Yoko, way I oko, with a child, yo ho, let me hold on, take a top. Hold, give me a hold on, take a top. Give you a second verse. Hold on, let's go. She me a teppelin where I leave her cross eyes. She like big names, so I increase my font size. I read your place if you dare think the cross eyes. Ain't nobody got a glock like mine. Bet the boy think you the bomb when he talk, but he say nothing. Give him a you pick with a sickness, he can't stomach. You should know I say it. Give him a what? And that's another thing I realized. This nigga is putting putting out more freaking big ass words and shit. Size. Now read your place if you dare think the cross eye. Ain't nobody got a glock like mine. Nine. And the boy think he the bomb when he talk, but he say nothing. Nope. Even though you pick with a sickness, he can't stomach. You should know I say it quick with a stick, but this ain't mother three. Yeah. Think that he a killer or something, but he ain't hurting me. I don't play no game with mm. Killer or something. He ain't hurting me. If that ain't a freaking hunter hunter bar right there. Killer. Well, I may be stretching. They equipped with a stick, but this ain't mother three. Yeah. Think that he a killer or something, but he ain't hurting me. I don't play no games while your team be looking like hundred days. Swimming in the money, that's why my pockets been looking deep. Think it talking cheap, but say something stupid and pay the free. I was scaling me, but I saw the and you can check the feet. Yeah. So Hold up. I know that. Now that's. Now this ain't no reach. That's definitely a solo leveling bar right there. Think it talking cheap, but say something stupid and pay the free. Power, sc Power scaling me. I solo and you can check the feats. Solo like power level. Solo solo leveling power. Wait. Yeah. That classic Britain boy is back. All right. <clears throat> Pockets been looking deep, they can talk as cheap as say something stupid and pay the free. Power scaling me, but I saw and you can check the feet. Yeah. Told them if you gonna just need to do it proper. Okay. We was on the ground, now we finna leave them stuck. Yoko, where I oko, with a chopper. Yoko, give me hold on, take a top. Told them if you gonna just need to do it proper. We was on the ground, now we finna leave them stuck. Yoko, where I oko, with a chopper. Yoko, give me hold on, take a top. Told them if you gonna just need to do it proper. We was on the ground, now we finna leave them stuck. Yoko, where I oko, with a chopper. Yoko, give me hold on, take a top. Oh wow. Yo, she really be giving me the whole thing, bro. Like, like the entire thing. It's just, it's, it's, it's Britain. Yep, definitely classic Britain right there. If y'all remember, that was Britain's. Well, they probably still use it, but nah, that was, that was classic Britain intro right there. It's Britain. Your thing. It's just, it's, it's, it's Britain. <laughs> It's been a long time since we've heard that intro. Hey. Shout out to Breton. And on to the next one, which is the last one, which is... Let's just say he said this in a little... If y'all remember me reacting to his anime Ripped Girls song and such, the wife, the waifu anthem basically is to rip girls anthem the strong girls anthem he said a little part in there itty bitty to be itty bitty but basically this and the thing is ibtc by ham sandwich but if you remember but the thing is that what came up saying that he got like a little like an age restricted or something like that so he had to put i he had to literally put the illiterate, the freaking, what's it called? Yeah, British, like, the letters for it and such, but we know it's called Itty Bitty TD Committee. So let's get it. Yeah. Hey! You know, what do you know? I'm a man of very fine taste, very fine <laughs> men. So. 
I need a shoddy in the itty bitty titty committee Who got yeah. the mini milk is fucking my yeah. titties And blow up your city, yeah. I'm serious yes, Niggas trying to preach old pie, but I ain't hearing it nah. I've been trying to see more types of body images yeah. I'm looking for the flat kind Whoa. Maybe with a little bit of something on the backside yes, Hopping in the pussy like a nigga about a capsize If we being real, I give a fuck about her bap size yeah. Hey, yeah. look, yeah. I just need a baddie shit right. Hey, 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 let me cook you Oh my Bro, you Niggas so scared of being called gay, they afraid to fuck with flat chested bitches. Like, what the fuck wrong with you? She's so sad, man. Check this out. I just need a baddie. She ain't need to have a fatty. Just as long as I can ride it like a caddy, then I'm pulling up. I promise I don't give a fuck about what they say to me. The titties could be ABC as long as I can lay the D. So the titties can be ABC as long as I. Like, what the hell you said? I'm pulling up, I promise I don't give a fuck About what they say to me, the titties could be ABC As long as I can lay the D As long as I can lay the D The frick <laughs> This nigga I did not know Look here, all I'm saying is If you If you're a freaky family, right? I'm just saying, hear me out If you're a freaky family and you want to teach your little youngins about the A, B, the alphabet Put it like that <laughs> That's a it's nigga, what the... The east side could go A to Z Between them where I'm made to be I've seen it moving gracefully, no make-believe And if they're on the smaller side, it really need more space for me So I'ma fill the vacancy Cause that ain't shit that you can take from me Hey, so let me pull up on Abby Jones No pretend to hit it both sides like a palindrome Though we finna hit a lick and split a casserole Rip when I spin the block, it's humble like I'm passing go I'd rather she be flat than have him full of acetone For me, it's all about the shape Cause if the acetone, it doesn't make a difference If she busty when her ass is thrown Toss her a band, and now she building up my mana flow I seen Elena need a new broom to ride on And just the same, I need a new boot to slide on mm. hey they know i'm fucking with them witch bitches yeah. cause they the anything you want i'll grant you wish uh -huh. bitches so if we being honest i may need a witch missus <sighs> am i gonna have to make a song about this and i ain't fucking with him wait what he said <laughs> wait wait what he said we being honest i may need a witch missus <sighs> a witch missus <laughs> am i gonna have to make a song about this and i yep you are once you part once you you know you know your community you know your community, Bree. I mean, Ham. Yes. Yes, you do. You're gonna have to make a song about it. Boo to slide on. Hey, they know I'm fucking with them witch bitches. Yeah. Cause they the anything you want, I'll grant you witch uh -huh. bitches. So if we being honest, I may need a witch missus. <sighs> Am I gonna have to make a song about this? And I ain't yes, fucking with a nigga being dismissive. I'm ducking all the negative, so every diss misses. <laughs> Cause back in days I had the pop, I couldn't piss in it. Damn. See, back in days with ducking shots, we couldn't miss in it. Damn. If life an ocean and you nothing but a fish in it, Damn. you gotta get yourself a rod and start to fish in it. Yes, I treat your thotty like the air, I put my fist in it. Uh. I treat my body with the care, I treat my businesses. Yeah. I pull the Glocky on, I'll be get to kiss in it. He out the we run him down and that's the gist of it Can't let a nigga hang if he ain't know the wish it is Ayy, give me a bad bitch And her titties don't need to be massive Hell, they don't need to be average I ain't a picky eater, nigga, I'm a savage Dang a romper, kill the pussy, feeling like the blackest Hacking with a white hat, I pull up on One thing I gotta say, with him Whenever he switches it up to this type of thing Trust me You can, hold up Sorry. With him, you can never say Nerdcore doesn't have some of the most freakiest artists out there. You cannot say that no more. Because if you want freaky, come to him. Because <laughs> don't get it twisted. He can rap rap. But a nigga can make a... The nigga made a song about fanboys. Ripped like strong anime girls. And now he made us. Now he's making a song. Now he made this song about women with flat chest. Trust me, he'll show. He will show love to any type of girl. I mean, hell, he even made one about freaking monster girls. Two of them, and he got one. Let's face it, him. He's a man of the culture. I don't know what to say. Because, because let's face it, let's go down to history. Monster Girls, right? Monster Girls 2. The waifu. The waifu, like the strong anime ones. Femboys. And now, flat chested. What next he's gonna make?
unless I'm forgetting others but those five, those five right there and those and the first two the monster girl ones those were like like part one was addicted addicted was just monster girls one and then monster girls two but yeah but let's face it all five of them is freaky so he's a man of the culture <laughs> On the back end, a tap in, you lack in, I'm all bad, that action, I'm strapped in. She got the flattest of surfaces and her ass is the curvy, cause she actually working it. Uh, they look at all that I prefer and call me a pariah. Damn. Wanna know that all you niggas was side on Zendaya? Hold on, I need me a Nessa supermodel girl, she better put a nigga on a stretcher, I ain't stressing about shit. Huh. Like I'm chilling with Kobe, I should sip and sake and getting sloppy. Where she was something psychic, I might just call her Tatsumaki. She kinda tossed if it don't be shot, I'm trying to rock a Roxy. Hagi is a no brainer, see that fruit a low hanger. Niggas talking crazy on my Discord, but I ain't never pissed off, cause I know all the niggas. Is getting no bangers Damn. to a hater i feel no anger because i'm secure in my position feeling no danger patiently waiting for the day that i could go major yes, yeah that's just a funny fucking fact nigga but i'm really out here making real money rip. rapping about fictional women well could you blame him i mean like let's face it he's act he's gay like y'all people think it's a like nigga and a lot of times people say like when you if you're a youtube rapper or whatever and such nobody takes you seriously nigga most of these most of youtube rappers and narco artists and such they're making more let's face it then but probably they is possibly making more money getting more views and probably getting way more streams than some of your favorite artists out there sorry that was my phone if you have me like like i said they get more money more views and more streams than probably your favorite artists out there and they're not even signed so nigga i will so even if he is rapping about fictional woman, the fact is he's getting his money, he's getting his subscribers, he's getting his money, he's getting his views, and he's getting his streams. He's making a bag off of it, and he raps about what he likes. Who gonna judge? How you gonna judge a man if he's literally making money out of it? I'm just having fun with it. And that ain't too. Even serious yet. And that's the thing too. He's literally having fun. He's literally having fun Don't with get it. serious. Soon enough. <laughs> Soon enough. Trust me, we know when he can turn it up serious. He can go hard. But yeah. That was it for this triple threat reaction, y'all. But yeah, like I'm saying, at the end of the day, to all like to these nerd for artists, right? Not a peop like people would say like, oh, they can't be taken serious. Like, didn't you li like I literally said, Fable dropped a song like like most artists, like Daddy Fat Snaps, Fable, Rustage, Ham, Breeden, and so on and so forth, and more and more and so forth, right? Y'all can say that most for the ones who are not real good music artists or just like to hate. Nigga, how you gonna hate on them when they literally are making good money from this? Doing what they actually love. Getting more views from this. Getting more streams than some of y'all favorite artists out there. And they're not even signed and most of them, most of the nerd core artists are not even signed to no major label and they're getting way more money more views and such than most artists who are signed to a label and they are and the ones who are signed to a label they don't get their music pushed as much like at the end of the day that's why like don't get me twisted there are some mainstream artists out there 
who have good music and they're always gonna get pushed like the little, little baby and Ellie Chapo. Hell, I just saw Eminem. Like, well, let me say not Eminem, but you know what I mean. Like, there are there are some art, mainstream artists out there that literally have their songs pushed and so on. And so, but let's face the facts. Are they like with all the art, like the mainstream artists? It takes them like t like two or three four months or so right to drop some music right just saying right when these guys could literally drop a song within like two or three weeks just saying depending on which one they are depending on how they do it and the ones who literally drop music from like for the mainstream who are like from two to two or three months and they only clocked in like a hundred views while the nerdcore artist could drop a song could have a song that's like two or three weeks old and they got three three hundred k like nigga the fact that a mainstream artist who will drop like two who will drop a song like two or three months from now and only get like a hundred k from it and such while these nerd while the nerdcore community, like some of these nerdcore artists, could drop literally a song that's like three weeks old, and it has over almost you can say up to at least five hundred k. So the fact is that's why these and the fact and the most important part of it, you actually see that they're having fun with it, and they also keep on putting in something new into the community. But yeah, that was sorry for that little rant. I just got that's why I always gonna keep on saying that with this nerdcore community, I'm always gonna show my love and support for it, no matter what. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. I was talking my stuff today on this one because you were like you guys really hear me talking such when it comes to like certain topics. But yeah, I had to talk my ish on this one because of that. So yeah, shout out to Mix, shout out to Brain Boy, and shout out to him. Shout out to everybody in the Nerdcore community. And hope y'all always show the love back the same way how I show y'all love. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.